डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर यूट्यूब ट्यूटोरियल फ्राम नीम बुखारी यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ डिजीज़ विच इज़ आटोसोमल डोमिनेट इनहेरिटेज पैटर्न रिलेटेड डिजीज रिलेटेड डिजीज सो द डिजीज इज एक्चुअली न्यूरो फाइब्रमेटोसिस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस न्यूरो फाइब्रमेटोसिस वट इज न्यूरो फाइब्रमेटोसिस एंड वट इज डिजीज इटियोलॉजी एंड वट काइंड ऑफ सिम्टम्स आर यूजली डिजीज प्रेजेंट वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन न्यूरो फाइब्रमेटोसिस इज एक्चुअली कैटेगराइज इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ आटोसोमल डोमिनेट इन हेरिसेंट एंड डिजीज मीन्स द पेरेंट्स विल बी हैविंग अ सिंगल अलील और अ जीन म्यूटेटेड इन इन केस ऑफ न्यूरो फाइब्रमेटोसिस and what are the genes actually mutated in neurofibromatosis in neurofibromatosis the gene nf1 and nf2 there are two genes which are mutated these genes are actually located on chromosome number 17 and this disease is also auto uh, auto dominant uh, autosomal dominant inherited pattern related disease because this disease is a disorder of autosomes okay then the chromosome number 17 belongs from the autosomes that's why this disease is autosomal uh, dominant inheritance disorders basically the two genes which are actually uh, causing uh, <coughs> neurofibromatosis those two genes include like nf1 and nf2 these nf1 and nf2 genes are responsible for the production of neurofibrillamin neurofibrillamin is actually a protein which is usually present in our skin and this protein is also responsible for the production of neurons so once neurofibromatosis neurofibromatosis disease occurs in case of disease there is a gain of mutation uh, gene gain of mutation uh, gain of mutation gain of function mutation disorder right so gain of function mutation disorder in which nf1 nf2 nf2 genes actually gain the additional functions and they start pro, uh, production of abnormal neurofibromatosis neurofibromatosis when abnormal neurofibromatosis protein is produced then we can say that disease neuro uh, fibromatosis occurs once neurofibromatosis occurs so cells usually present symptom like blue uh, blue like blisters and uh, myelomas on cancer cell the, these uh, kind of tumors on skin skin appears as a bluish tumors okay and the whole skin represents a uh, neurons with the uh, carcinomas on the skin so as you can see in the diagram so this is actually a disease which is transmitted from parents to offspring and this is autosomal uh, dominant inheritance inheritance disorder beside neurofibromatosis there is there is an other disease which is also known as like uh, achondroplasia achondroplasia is another genetic disorder which is termed as autosomal dominant inheritance disorders in achondroplasia usually uh, patient represents symptoms of uh, like they they are dwarfism like symptoms of a disease like dwarfism their uh, body structure is very short their hands are uh, we can say very short and their elbow is already their bo elbow bone formation is already uh, we can say shrinked so bones are not properly formed in such patient and this is this is also autosomal in uh, dominant inheritance disorders in which usually parents have uh, some mutated genes in case of achondroplasia usually parents have mutation in gene uh, located on chromosome number 4 and the gene uh, usually which can be uh, considered for the for the achondroplasia are considered as grf so gfr sorry gfr are actually uh, genes which are present on uh, chromosome number 4 in case of achondroplasia and in achondroplasia as you can see the symptoms on in this diagram so as patients have very short bodily structures aur aapne is tarah ke log bahut zyada dekhe honge abhi apne ird gird mein jo ki achondroplasia se suffer kare unki body ka size bahut kam hota hai tall, uh, sorry short hote hain they are not tall or their body size is not normal यूजली ये बोन्स का भी डिसऑर्डर्स है सो एकोनियोप्लेजिया इज ऑल्सो कंसिडर्ड एड ऑटोसोमल इनहेरिटेंट डिसऑर्डर एज वेल एज वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड न्यूरोफाइब्रोमेटोसिस दिस इज ऑल्सो एन ऑटोसोमल डोमिनेट इनहेरिटेंस डिसऑर्डर सो दैट्स ऑल रिगार्डिंग ऑटोसोमल इनहेरिटें इनहेरिटेंस डिसऑर्डर सो दिस वॉज एक्चुअली वन मोड ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस विच वी कवर्ड इन 
in the span of three or four lectures so now we are moving uh, forward for the autosomal recessive genetic disorders as well in coming lectures so stay tuned if you have any question in this lecture you can post your questions i will be happy to address your questions stabilized allah office